the whole London art scene is quite forward thinking and ahead of a lot of other countries maybe and it seems to be where a lot of the new stuff happens I think so maybe they aspire to getting involved or doing similar work. It's, um, it's funny seeing how the Russians view London and view England. To us it's slightly cliched, it's like cups of tea and bulldogs. It's good, I like it, it's really funny. Jamie is originally, he's been doing graffiti, the middle guy. He's probably what you would term a graffiti artist and he's been doing it for a long time. And now he's moved away from traditional graffiti to more illustration. It's more mural and art. I've always been into art. I've always liked making things. Um, I used to go out and paint graffiti a lot. You know, I still do occasionally. Get in trouble for it? A little bit some boss. I'm quite, I'm quite lucky. And yeah, then it kind of gave me the confidence to work on a large scale. Pigeons are everywhere and people don't really like them and uh, but people kind of ignore them and I just thought let's make it fun, let's make it a funky pigeon. And uh, inside it is lots of different patterns and lots of different colours and that's kind of representing kind of all the different kind of types of people and cultures and things going on in London. Dave, there's a big push for stencil art and you see it a lot in Moscow, the little stencils. There's over a hundred stencils he's used to create this piece, it's layer upon layer. And Charlie is much more loose and freestyle and quite less direct. It's more subtle and interesting. And that's the Bank of England and traditional London costumes which have been around for years. So it's three very different ways of working, which I think is why they work together as a whole. It represents London styles. I've seen some interesting work when I've been walking around Moscow. So there's some talented people here. People seem positive and they seem excited, um, which is good qualities.